biggest game on the planet. The most cutthroat tournament ever. I'm so nervous. This is the biggest weekend of my life. The best players in the world. It's life changing no matter what. Everything is on the line. I've got a job to do. I'm ready for it. New York City will serve as host for the most pressure-filled weekend of their lives. This is the biggest opportunity for any team. $30 million. There's so much on the line. Only the best will survive. The game is about to get very real. This is the road to the World Cup. It all began with 10 weeks of qualifying. Just 10 chances for the best players on the planet to make it to the World Cup. It's a life-changing opportunity. For FaZe Clan, one of the most established and well-known teams in esports, the World Cup is yet another opportunity to cement their status as a dominant player in the industry. And the players know it. So when FaZe Clan hits you up, you listen. FaZe Clan is like the best org. For me, being on FaZe is just, in this world, FaZe Clan is literally the best org I could have ever joined. Basically what they do, they just make me feel like I don't have to do anything else than playing the game. FaZe is really special to us because as they've grown and their org has just propelled itself to superstardom, we were with these guys when they were 17, got them their first gaming house that they could all live in, and now seven years later, we're obviously still attached to them. Members of FaZe Clan are attending boot camp at the G Fuel house just outside of New York City. It's one of the perks of being on FaZe Clan. The house is amazing and everything is just so cool. FaZe has like made it such a big like opportunity for me. They're bringing me out to New York, hooking me up with like a G Fuel house, which is like a really good setup. It's a really good environment just to prepare for the World Cup. Being so established also means that FaZe is able to scout some of the best young players in the world. I'm in eighth grade going to ninth. It feels amazing being on FaZe. Like every one of my school is like amazed. Like they didn't even call me by my name anymore. They just called me Mega. I started getting like a lot of people following me. They knew who I was, they stopped me in the corridor or whatever. It was definitely different. Obviously no one in the school was signed to an esports contract. The thing that made it fun for me is people I've never met coming up to me in the corridors and just asking me questions about it. It was nice meeting new people. As is the case with most pro athletes, reaching the top of their sport is never easy. I was the only free agent to qualify for World Cup in the very first week and it confused a lot of people and they were like, who is this guy? And then um, somebody was trying to fake that I was cheating with these like DMs and saying I was a cheater. And then everyone hopped on the bandwagon. The second week I qualified again and people were like, what the heck, like what's going on? And then Fortnite finally put out an article about how I'm not cheating and that just shut up everyone. It was definitely frustrating with um, all the accusations and people turning on me. Now I am on FaZe Clan and I'm considered one of the best. The World Cup is a chance for FaZe Clan to solidify their reputation as one of the best in all of esports. It's also a chance for these young players to help their families like never before. The World Cup, I mean, just how much money they're giving away, it means a lot. I mean, if I win, at least like, any portion on like top 10, I'm pretty much set. I can make sure my family's set. I don't come from a very rich family, like so any, any amount of money I can make would definitely just help us so much. As the G Fuel boot camp continues, a sense of confidence and brotherhood among the players is becoming evident. And Vorwin seems to have his teammates all figured out. So Mongo is basically like a crazy guy. He's the funniest kid I've ever met in my life. He has so much energy. Mega is just so innocent. He's just so funny to be with him and such a cool kid, to be honest. Dubs is just cracked. So I would say he's just insane. He just plays the game. He, I don't know, he's just an alien or a robot. I don't know. Funk is like freaking good. People doesn't even realize how good he is. Nate is just, I don't know if he's perfect or not, but he looks pretty. He, he look, plays the video game. He knows how to sing. He has everything. <laughs> At 24, American Nate Hill knows that his life experience has helped him qualify for the World Cup. 
I have a bunch of other interests other than Fortnite as well. Um, I've been singing, playing guitar, music since like 12th grade. I'm obsessed with all different kinds of sports. I've modeled for eight years. Uh, I kind of want to do acting, stuff like that. I out of high school when I was 17. I went and traveled uh, to Paris right away for Fashion Week, which was a mind-blowing experience as a kid. But it wasn't my passion. It was kind of just a means to an end. I'm really happy I did it. It was a great life experience. As an org, Face Clan is at the top. Team members share a sense of pride in their past and an unwavering confidence in their future. So we're basically gonna walk in, we're gonna look good and we're gonna play good and we're just gonna come out with good money as well. I'm really confident I'm gonna place at least top five in both. I'm feeling very confident going in. I'd say top three or bust. Yeah, I'm definitely confident. The whole growth of their org has been so incredible for us to watch and I would be over the moon to see one of the FaZe guys take home a grand prize.